Annesley. A tough referee, won't take any back chat, as Mal Meninga told, us, told me not so long ago. If you talk back to Graham Annesley, you'll find yourself in the sin bin. OK, there's the kick-off. And this all-important match for the Canberra Raiders starts off as Matthew Wood, the young winger, brings it up and he's tackled about 15 metres out from his own line. Watch for him. He's on the blind side at the moment. Schifoletti. Probably the fine for Rillawarra this season. A great young player. Long kick downfield. Goes between Ferguson and Belcher. Skips back to Ferguson. He's slipping and sliding. Can he get around? He certainly can. Look at Johnny Ferguson go. Puts in the stop and goes again. Oh, great run, Johnny Ferguson. You can't get him half a yard, Tony Campbell. Certainly can't, Peter. Well... Good match so far, and it's the Raiders in possession, about 30 metres out from their line. The ball to be played, this is Steve Wallace. Fires the pass to Daly. Daly throws a terrible pass, didn't go anywhere near Ferguson. Lance, 28 metres out. O'Sullivan. Meninga, O'Sullivan on the run around. Still going, O'Sullivan, a good run. One of the original Raiders, O'Sullivan. This would be a sentimental day for him. The last tackle, and there's a penalty. The penalty goes to the Raiders, about 28 metres out from the uh, Steelers' line. Puts them under a lot of pressure early. Certainly does. Matthew Wood kicked six out of seven against the Gold Coast two weeks ago in that tremendous victory uh, the Raiders had. Of course, uh, the Gold Coast came out and did them a favour yesterday, or on Friday night, should I say, by beating Cronulla. Well, Wood now, he sets himself. Moves in now. Hits it pretty sweetly. It's going away to the right. But hits the post in back, bounces back in play. Cavill Hughes, the man that comes up with it. He gets a pass out to Mark Ebb. Ebb plays the ball. That's Fritz in the dummy half, right on the 22. So Sullivan ran into a scarlet wall. Stewart now with the ball. Back inside to Lance. He gives it to Meninga in a bit of space. Now it goes on to Walters, racing downfield. He's got no one with him. Trying to link up, he finds Belcher. Belcher across field, gives it to Clyde. They're throwing it about a bit. Clyde dummies, he's going himself on to Walters. Gets a pass out to Wood. And the ball looks like it's been knocked on. Well, some brilliant play from the Raiders to show just what sort of attack they can now. They really threw it about. Some great running from, first of all, here goes Walters, who was in the gap, as you said, Mike. No support. Finally found Belcher coming up. He offloaded it and goes to Clyde. Clyde throws back to Walters and the pass. Well, I thought the pass went forward anyway. Welcome back to Seaford Oval. Still no score. The Raiders with the ball. Clyde now takes on the Steelers' defence. And a good tackle too from Trevor Kissel put him to the ground. Walters in a dummy half. Scampers away. Gets a pass one-handed to Gary Belcher. They're a metre in Steelers' territory, and that's five for the Raiders. Walters now gives it on to Stewart. He kicks it downfield. A great-looking kick. It's a beauty. Ten metres out, Ricky Stewart. You see the work there from Stewart. A great piece of play. Right to him, it does the tackle on Chica. Daly in a dummy half. Gives a good ball away to Clyde. He's very damaging Bradley Clyde. On to Walters now. He gives it to Belcher. Belcher going ahead, drops it to the toe. Still going, Gary Belcher. Plenty of Steelers there and a great piece of play from Pincinelli. Clean that up in danger. Still no score. On it goes to Cavill Hugh. Hugh is brought down by Steve Walters and also Stewart going down low. Ball is played. Offside though. The penalty goes to the Steelers. Midway between the half and the quarter line. Down inside the Raiders' territory. Ideal situation. Laurie Daly getting some magic spray on his thigh as... I just wonder now whether Wishart can uh, put the first points on the board, Peter. Well, here he goes. This is a difficult kick, about 40 metres out, straight in front. It looks like it might drop short. Will it? Yes, just to the right of the post and taken by Gary Belcher. Belcher brings it up about 18 metres out from his own try line. It's over the top of Lance. It's a switch by Stewart. Goes to Lowry. on halfway the Canberra Raiders Clyde now dreadful play the ball see how slow that was by the time Clyde got up there he had to virtually change back to first gear well it's a kick now from O'Sullivan he tries to get uh, over Wishart he certainly does a fine kick and they're about 10 or so metres out from the Steelers try line Rod Wishart he couldn't really do anything in that situation you see it here on the head on 
and O'Sullivan did everything right and put it into touch. Daly will play the ball. Ferguson dummy half. Virgo has a run. Tries to go through the gap. Puts the head down. And he's brought down just outside the Steelers' 22-metre line. Walters dummy half, but offside. Well, here's a chance for the first points of the match. And I Steelers offside. The penalty goes to the Raiders. There was no doubt about Bolt was offside, but I think that was a professional foul. Bolt knew the Raiders had their backs set deep. This would be very. This would be similar weather to uh, wonderful Wollongong, Michael, I suppose. Yes, as uh, Richard Curley said before, Tahiti. Well, uh, I've got two jumpers on though, Tone. I tell you what. I think I prefer Wollongong to Tahiti. <laughs> well, that's right, Wollongong. Of course, the crowd here appreciating it. The last game for them at Seaford. A lot of responsibility on, the, on his shoulder because every point is vital in this game. Now there's the kick. It's there, and at last, there are points on the board. Five minutes of play left in the first half. Canberra two, Illawarra nil. Let's take a break. More of that. That's what the Raiders need if they want to get right in, on top in this game. As Walters finds a break up the centre, and he goes through. No support close to him. On the fifth, the Raiders, they should hoist it high. Look for Ricky Stewart on the blind side. Goes to Stewart. Will it be a chip kick? Yes, it is. Is he going to get the bounce? Smith's there trying to cover, and Smith covers brilliantly. He's had a good game back at fullback Tony Smith throughout this match, and it's a difficult day for fullbacks with this slippery, greasy ball, and that's just how greasy it is. Gary Coyne's going for the line. He's tackled five metres out on the far side. Ebb desperately calling his players out. Goes to Stewart. Stewart cut out pass to O'Sullivan. He was tackled strongly about 18 metres out from his line. Lowry at dummy half. Goes to Dean Lance running straight. He's tackled. The Raiders now, their best opportunity to put points further on the board as it goes to, o to Stewart. Jinx goes back inside, links up with O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan still going. Almost straight through, meter out from the line. He'll play the ball. I'm sure O'Sullivan would love to score a try in this match, Peter. He certainly would. He's been there from the beginning. It goes to Meninga. Wood. Oh, the pass was knocked down. I think you'll find the ball was knocked down by Illawarra. In fact, it was. He's called a knock-on, so the scrum will be put down 15 metres out from the Illawarra line with the Raiders to feed. Well, Peter, you can see it on the head-on here. Absolutely shut the gate at this pass, found its mark, but it uh, was knocked down, and that was relief for the Steelers. Good play by the Raiders. Yes, good play by the Raiders, and good defence by Illawarra too. Well, here goes another chance, another Ra Raiders opportunity. As it goes to, as another, it's a penalty. Is Daly going to take the quick tap? Don't. Is, well, well, he's been told not to take it, and he's, he's pretty upset. Ricky Stewart came over and told him not to take the quick tap. And we'll just see what's going to happen. You might remember that uh, Souths game in Sydney we covered, Peter. Yes. Laurie Daly took the quick tap and came up with a four-pointer. He certainly did come up with a four-pointer. And, of course, they can't take the kick for goal because this came from a scrum penalty. It goes to Stewart. Stewart puts it up. It's got ice on it as it comes down. Watch for it. Whose ball is it? Is it a try? No. The ball was knocked on, according to referee Annesley. And it's half time here at Seaford Oval. The scoreline, Canberra just in front. Two points to nil over the Illawarra Steelers. The statistics of the first half. Scrums went seven to two in favour of the Steelers. Penalties went the Raiders' way, 5-4. Missed tackles, 12. The Raiders, 10 to the Steelers. Handling errors, and not a bad number either in these very treacherous conditions. Six against the Steelers, and five against the Canberra Raiders. Thanks, John Mortimer, or Chuck as we know him, our statistician. He's doing all the work for us, keeping us in touch with this game, and let's hope we see a lot more of Mal Meninga in this second half. Mike O'Dwyer in the first half, he was extremely quiet. Yeah, Mal certainly was. He's a, he's a player that uh, can, um, you know, fire them up definitely. OK, any changes, Richard Keeley, for the second half? Yep, one change, Peter. Ian Russell, he's going to take his place on the paddock in 41, replacing number 13, Craig Keane. I spoke to Ron Hilditch uh, just moments ago. He said, don't panic. Uh, he doesn't care if they don't win it until we're, we're two minutes to go. Tim Sheens, uh, he wanted Meninga to get uh, more involved in the game. Also, he said to Ricky Stewart, he wanted to see a big kicking game from him in the first half and not to push the passes. See if uh, those players can be a match winners, all of them. In fact, the Canberra Raiders bristle with match winners. This is one of them. Gary Belcher gets it to Meninga. O'Sullivan on the inside, and he's put down in the tackle about 30 metres out from the Illawarra line. Meninga at dummy half. 
He throws the ball to Stewart. Stewart cut out pass to Daly. Beautiful pass and well taken by Daly, but Daly can't keep his feet. That's the fifth tackle. The ball will be hoisted here by Stewart. Now it goes to Meninga. Meninga cut out pass to Belcher. They're running on the sixth tackle this time. Goes to Wood and it's a double tackle. And a good one too from Neil Piccinelli. Bolt now on to Kissel. Kissel looks for a runner, a long pass out to Martin Ebb. Play on, and Ebb racing downfield, gets one inside to Fraser Hammond, back on the Fritz, it's been knocked down. Play, play on, Skip Lenny's got it, he's going for the line, oh. and then pushed into touch. Well, there was certainly some fantastic play in that. Well, unlucky not to score, but let's go back to the initial pass when Ebb created the break on the touchline. It ball went at least half a yard forward, if not a full yard, which is almost a metre in, in uh, proper terminology. Thank well, you. Well, here it is. You can see it there. Ebb hit it at full full speed. That's some good work by the Steelers. The down in well the... picked up there. That's Schipoletti again. He's a dangerous player, and he almost scored. Here now, they're about 10 metres out. It's gone to Kessel. He gets a pass back inside to Cavill Hugh, running straight and hard. Hugh's still going. I think he might be about a metre out, maybe closer. Very close indeed. Bolt in the dummy half. He gives it on to Skip Lenny, who picked it up. In fact, it's been ruled a knock on. Still Just a little knock on there, Michael. Well, it went straight over Kissel's head. I think the ball was meant to go to Kissel. The ball, it is very slippery. Let's give uh, our fair Jew here to Bolt. Bolt tries to clear it quickly. The ball went straight over Kissel's head, and Skip Lenny had to try and half volley that ball. And he could. Well, the Raiders come up with that scrum win. It's through O'Sullivan now. Canberra still leading two points to nil. Ricky Stewart in a dummy half. Decides to go himself. They've gone the blind. Belcher in a bit of space. In fact, he's in a lot of space, Gary Belcher. He's got Wood now on his inside. Throws the pass. Here's Skip Lenny and a great tackle from Skip Lenny, but Wood's still going. Well, that was great play from the Raiders. Belcher now gives it on to Stewart. Long ball out to Bradley Clyde. And there's a penalty. In fact, Morris has been sent to the sim bin for five minutes. And so he should have. He was way offside. It was a professional foul. And that was a great attack and great run by Gary Belcher. Richard Keeley on the sideline. Just about done everything. It's a mean table tennis player too, they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wood now moving in. Hits it pretty sweetly. Looking pretty good off the boot. But it's been waved away by the touch judges. So it's still 2-0 in, in favour of the White Raiders. Stewart again with the ball. Londo Sullivan. Here's the little grubber kick through. Belcher flying after it. And it beats everyone. Daly picks it up magnificently, but well tackled. The Raiders pouring the pressure on at the moment. Walters now on to Stewart. He decides he dummies in a long pass out to Wood. He's got no one to beat. Can he get there? He does. Great try. Matthew Wood has scored in the corner. And Canberra Raiders go further ahead. That's just what they needed. What a beautiful pass by Ricky Stewart. If that pass didn't go 27 metres, I'll stand Not up the bar tonight because that was a magnificent pass. Let's watch it. Stewart summed it up. The Steelers were still offside trying to come on and watch this pass. Firstly from the other side of the field to the other. Magnificent. And Wood, as I said before, he's got pace to burn. A great tackle. It's a great try. Oh, it's a great try. Look at it on the head-on. Good kick from O'Sullivan. And Belcher did everything right chasing through. Well picked up daily. Great pick up given the conditions. And they quickly set themselves. As you said, good work from Stewart here. Drawing defenders a huge pass. And locked beautifully into his hands. And Wood, well, thank you very much. There's uh, no doubting he uh, is certainly not slow indeed. Very quick. But is that just what the Raiders needed, Mike? I think so, to pep them up, surely. You had half a smile on your face before that try. <laughs> I notice it's gone completely now. OK, Richard Keeley will let you call this kick. Yep, there's been a change in kickers. In fact, Laurie Daly is not too far away from me. In fact, if he falls over, I might jump in and take it myself. <laughs> Here he goes. He moves in. It's pretty long and high. It looks reasonably good, but it's just uh, waved away to the left there. He called that so well, didn't he? Yes, bad luck. Actually, that was an, a, an extra good kick, but I suppose no kick's a good one unless it goes between the sticks. That's right. Well, the Raiders with the ball now, and there's the Raiders' chant. Getting pretty noisy here. Laurie Daly racing downfield. He's beaten one, but he can't get round Skip Letty. They're pouring it on now, the Raiders. Walters gives it on to Stewart. 
inside the Meninga. Racing downfield, he gets it to Bradley Clyde. And Clyde, tackled about three or four metres out. Gets up and plays the ball. Walters now on the coin, charging at the defence. They're about two metres out. The Raiders have got it all to do. They're swinging it right. Goes to Lazarus now. He might score himself. The big man, he's over. That's a try. Well, That's the Blackjacks right. might have opened here, Tony Campbell. Yes, I, I think so, Peter. They're really pouring the pressure. That is extreme pressure out there at the present time. Here it was. Glenn Lazarus wound up from about 10 metres out. And despite the tackle and the attention there of Chris Walsh, he was able to power his way over. Walsh is grimly trying to hang on with the help there of Pincinelli. But another good try to the Raiders has pace to burn, just like Matthew Wood, a fresh player. And I'm sure this paddock would have drained the energy of all players. Very slippery, hard to get your footing. Let's go to the kick now. Laurie Daly moves in. It's a shocker. Well, the Raiders just can't put the ball between the sticks. So the scoreline remains here. Ten points to nil in favour of the Raiders. In his own line. Ball is played. Back it goes to Stewart. Hits one of the Illawarra players. And Illawarra back in possession. Here's a chance. Morrissey. Inside Russell. Russell. Russell still going. Brought down about 12 metres out. Russell to play the ball. Bolter's dummy half. Cattle Hugh. Hugh, 10 metres out. Pressure for the Raiders now. Steelers trying to hit back. Ball is played. Kissel. Piccinelli. Piccinelli going for the line, but he's... Oh, he kept the ball in play as he was driven over the touchline by Meninga. And this is Smith. And Smith is bundled to the ground. 17 metres out. He'll play the ball. On it goes to Morrissey. Morrissey back on the field. And he gets to within 10 metres of the try line. Morrissey to play the ball. Steelers trying to fight back. Bolt. Russell. A grubber kick through. It's in the in-goal area. The back there to receive it is Fergo. He won't get out of the in-goal area, though. Good defence by the Steelers. And Ian Russell both on the field now. Well, that's a blow. Schifoletti was by far the Illawarra Steelers' best player. But, uh, well... Ian Russell and Jeff Hardy are a great combination together. They were reserves for this game. They're on the paddock together. Watch them try and work together throughout the match. Piccinelli. Piccinelli, 10 metres inside the Raiders' half. He'll play the ball. But That's Hardy. Hardy, 12 metres inside the Raiders' territory, in centre field. On it goes to Walsh. Walsh tackled right around the ankles by Bradley Clyde. Ball is played. Cattle Hugh. Hugh gets to within about 28 metres of the try line. Bolt. Kissel. On it goes to Wishart. 25 metres out. The last tackle. Little kick through. Regathered by Stewart. This is Stewart back up towards his 22 metre line. Stewart to play the ball. 10 0. Raiders lead the Steelers in this final swan song at Stephen Oval. Wood. Ferguson. Ferguson over halfway. Still going, Ferguson, but he's brought down midway between the half and the quarter line. Ferguson, good run that time. Plays the ball. Belcher, O'Sullivan, a kick over the top. Goes back down towards the try line. O'Sullivan, kick the ball. Running back there is it. That's a try. That's a try. Belcher. Belcher beat after the ball. And there's another try to the Raiders. Well, good thinking by Chris O'Sullivan on that occasion. He saw the vacant space in the back behind the Illawarra Steelers. Now, let's just watch to see if Belcher's offside. Well, you can't really tell from that angle. There goes Belcher. The kick was put through once again by O'Sullivan. Maybe we'll tell from the head-on. The try has been given. There was the first kick into empty space. O'Sullivan chases hard. He's managed to kick the ball in field, and Belcher was Johnny on the spot, and that is enough. Moving in, hits it well, right between the posts. So Canberra are pouring it on now. They lead 16 points to nil over the Steelers. Russell's taken in good defence, midfield, down the blind side. Cavill Hugh, Pincinelli, and offside the Raiders. We're inside the final five, Peter. And I'd say this is uh, a win for the Raiders. Here's a chance. Hardy. Hardy has scored. Well, um, well, just as you said, it's a win for the Raiders. We see Illawarra Steelers come up with a try, but I think it's far too late. 
Yes. Make any difference here at Seaford Oval. A consolation try. Certainly a soft try there, Tony. Pitch nearly did well. It's been in good form in recent weeks. Got that one away to Hardy. And, well, it was, a, as I said, a soft try. You probably expect the Raiders to uh, relax a little bit at this stage of the game. On the head on here. Go. Good backing up from the Academy of Sport Rugby League coach, Jeff Hardy. And, Away we go. Yeah. Oh well, there's about three minutes left, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the crowd do with the full-time siren sounds here. Yeah, I'd say they'll uh, they'll give a good round of applause. As long as they don't burn the grandstand down. Well, we're on top. Hopefully, we get off at first. <laughs> Righto. Here's uh, Rod Wishart now. He'll attempt to convert that try scored by Hardy. There's only about two and a half minutes of play left in this game. The swan song at Seaford Oval as Wishart moves in. It's not a bad looking kick, it's another two points. Canberra 16, Illawarra 6. And a shade over two minutes of play left in this match. So play will restart from the centre of the halfway line. Full time siren any moment now. The ball is kicked through back to the halfway line. Taken by Gary Belcher. A long, long pass out to Ferguson. Now can Fergo score the last try at Seaford Oval? No, he can't. Midway between the half and the quarter line. On it goes Meninga. Stewart. O'Sullivan. One of the original Raiders. On it goes to Smith. Smith almost threw a gap, but he's tackled. There it is. It's all over. Canberra 16 has beaten Illawarra 6 in the last match at Seaford Oval. And we'll be back after this short break to wrap up the game and a great victory to the Canberra Raiders. 